Welcome, I hope that you are doing well. When you are working in Roblox Studio, there may be times that you want to give players items when they spawn into the game that you're creating. By the end of this video, I will show you how to do that so that the players will already have an item when they spawn. Let's get started. So you wanna have Roblox Studio open. And uh, so I'm working on a game here. And the first thing you want to do is make sure that you can see your Explorer tab and your Properties tab over on the right-hand side. Again, if you cannot see those, you want to go up to View and then Explorer Properties, make sure those are uh, visible. So the next thing you want to do is you want to add uh, the part that you are want the player to have when they spawn. So now you can create your own part. Um, what I'm going to do, uh, just to save a little time, is to search the uh, Toolbox. So again, you just click on Toolbox. And then it'll show you on the left hand side and I've got models uh, selected and then I'm just going to look for something that they uh, a player would want at the beginning. So let's say maybe a hammer. Okay, and then once I look for uh, that the hammer, I'm going to look for one um, that seems to make sense. And again, when you're looking through these items, make sure, uh, you know, uh, to make sure that they are uh, able to be used, what you want to do is uh, check the scripts. So over in Explorer, I've got the hammer that I added. Make sure that you uh, go through um, the script and then just uh, click on it and then uh, right click and you just press open and just check the scripts to make sure that there's um, uh, nothing funny in there or anything that um, uh, might be trying uh, you know, to hack the game. So again, so I've got this hammer. Everything looks good with the scripts. So uh, it was added into workspace. Now what I need to do is this is a tool. So again, when you're looking for a model, you, you make sure it's a tool. I'm just going to uh, click that. And then I'm just going to drag that to the starter pack. Okay, so now you've got the hammer in the starter pack. And now whenever I play this game, I should have the hammer um, as a uh, possible item when I spawn. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play. And then as I spawn, you'll notice in the center, I've got hammer. So I need to press number one. And now I've got the hammer. So all of the scripts that were are part of the tool will be uh, functional in the game. And again, so that's the easiest way. Press one and I can put the item away. And again, you can put as many of these as you would like. Um, so if you wanted to look for other tools in the toolbox, you can go ahead and add those as well. And again, all you need to do is make sure it's a tool and then drag it to the starter pack. Another way to do this would be to go to the starter pack and then press the plus button and then uh, add a tool. And then you would want to uh, go ahead and add uh, the part that you would like to put into the tool. And then you, you could do it this way. Um, it, it takes a little getting used to uh, when you do it this way. I'm going to go ahead and play the game and see what happens um, when you add the part that way. So see, I've got my hammer and I've got my tool. Now the tool came up underneath me. And so there would still be some um, uh, things that would need to be done with the script so that that tool would be held in your hand. Um, sometimes the part needs to be made smaller. Sometimes there needs to be things added. Uh, but this uh, video is just to show you how to um, add a tool um, so that it is it can be used from the player by the player during the spawn. I'll make another video in the future for how to show you how to script these tools um, so that they'll work the way you want them to work. So uh, you now know how to uh, add items uh, to a player for when they spawn into your game. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. I thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.